Hi, my name is Morag and welcome to my craft room. I decided Luna needed an Easter bonnet, so this is how I made it. Here's what you need to complete this project. First of all, you need some card, a good weighted card, or you could use bits of scrap card. A compass, a ruler, a paintbrush, or I've used a stipple brush, water, PVA glue, pot for mixing it in, felt. I've used some stamens, but it's not necessary. I've used ribbon and a pot bottle. This is to form your hat. This is six centimeters in diameter, 21 in circumference. A couple of millimeters here or there isn't gonna make a great deal of difference. And just to finish it off, I've used some pretty ribbons as well. You can use all your scrap felt up for this project. And this is how you make it. Now the first thing you need to do is to draw your circles. The first circle you need to do is a 16 centimeter in diameter. Second circle is six centimeters diameter and third is four centimeters diameter and then cut these out. The reason I've cut these circles out is to make sure that I've got templates if I want to make any additional hats. Now you need to choose the color that you need to use for your hat. So I've chosen this really pretty blue. Place your circle onto the felt and draw around it with a pencil. Go around a couple of times to make sure that you have something that's very visible. The next thing you need to do is to cut that out. Take a bit of time to make sure that you keep your edges nice and neat because obviously this is going to be the first thing that you see straight above our head. Now that you've got your circle we need to form it over the top of the pot bottle. So put it where you think is about, about the middle, push it down with your hands like that and you can, I use a hair bobble but you could use a piece of string or anything that's going to hold the hat. Push it up like this and pull it so there's no creases if you see that crease there that's really what you don't want so make sure all your creases are out just by pulling it along like that and this is where your ruler comes in have a look at how how much you have spare that side and how much you have that obviously if you don't have the same pull it over a little bit to make sure everything is even And once you're happy with the shape, then we need to make the glue for the top. So what you need to do is just by eye, put about five, five mil into the bottom of a glass. And then you're gonna need the same in PVA glue. So it's whatever you put in the glass, it's the six. Whatever you put in the water, it's exactly the same with the glue. Give it a good mix. You see the consistency once it's mixed, it's covering the stick, but it's not too thick. And then you need your brush. Don't worry, your brush won't be damaged by this because you just need to wash it out with warm water afterwards. You need to give the top of the hat two coats. 
but when I say two coats, I'm not very thick coats and go down as far as your band is or your string. Once you've given this two coats, this is the time where patience is a virtue because it will take approximately two days to dry. You can speed this up by either putting it over a radiator or a, ve a well-vented area, a conservatory, or even within the light of the sun coming through your window. But it does take approximately two days to dry. And then the next stage, we're going to decorate. The next thing you need to do is to make the flowers for the hat. Out the circles that you cut previously, you need to use the six centimeter circle twice and one at four centimeter. You can use your scraps of felt or you could use color coordinated felt. You will need some green felt as well for the, for the leaves for the flowers. And I use stamens and ribbons. You don't need a template for the leaf shape. Just cut a leaf to eye. So I tend to what I do is it's like that shape and I cut four of these. I found the best idea is to form the shape of your leaves first before you start shaping your flowers. To do this just use your PVA glue and the bottom of the leaf, nip it together like so. You could put a pin in there to hold it or you could just hold it by your hand. I just use a little peg, but again, you can use whatever's to hand. Once they're all done, it's time to shape your flowers. Next thing you need to do is to start forming your flowers. So you get a hold of your circle, start from the outside edge and cut around. You're following the shape of your circle all the time. Keep going. I know this looks a bit odd at the moment, but you will see exactly how, where I'm going with this in a moment. So you end up with a very small circle at the end. Go back to your beginning and curl your beginning, your beginning of your circle around and keep going around and around. It does get easier. As you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger. And this circle here that, this, that you're left with in the middle, you need to cover that with some glue. Keep going around and then that goes on to the very bottom that attaches to the very bottom of your flower and as you can see when you look at the top it becomes a very pretty looking rose put that down there to dry while that's drying do your other two circles exactly the same way once everything's dry and your hat base is complete, this is what it'll look like when you take it off your pot bottle. The next thing you need to do is to choose some ribbon. Once you put your ribbon on, you then just use PVA glue to glue your flowers on and your leaves. I've added a few stamens just for some added effect, but it's not necessary. Or any other kind of accessories that you want to do, add some little pearls, anything you wish. You could even put a little piece of elastic underneath if you require, if you want to do that as well. And then just place it on your rabbit. And there she is, all dressed up, ready for Easter. I hope you enjoyed following along with this, with both me and Luna to make her a nice Easter bonnet. If you did, please give it a go yourselves. 
and post all your pictures on this page. Thank you.